NATO käy, anteeksi, Venäjä käy omalla tavallaan kahden rintaman sotaa tai yhtä sotaa ja toista sodankäyntiä. Sota on konventionaalinen sota ja kineettinen sota Ukrainassa ja toinen on sitten hybridisodankäynti. Ja hybridisodankäynnissä on monta eri muotoa. Ihmisten välineellistäminen, informaatiosota, sabotaasi-iskut, infrastruktuuri iskut, kyberhyökkäykset ja, ja niin edespäin. Ää, nyt jos katsotaan loppujulistusta ja deklaraatiota, niin me näemme hyvin selkeästi, että NATO tulee ää, näihin eri tavalla reagoimaan, mutta tähän yksittäiseen tapaukseen en halua ottaa tässä vaiheessa kantaa. Mr. President, as you know, there's a bit of turmoil going on uh, here in the States as we head toward our election. My question for you is, how have meetings gone with President Biden so far, and do you have any concerns, especially in regards to NATO and Ukraine, if uh, President Trump returns to office here in the United States? Yeah, well, I mean, the first observation to make is, that as a strong advocate uh, of democracy, especially liberal democracy, I have to say that there's always turmoil before elections. Uh, having said that, we conducted our presidential elections uh, in the beginning of this year in a very civilized way. Why? Because the president deals with foreign policy, and foreign policy for us next to Russia is existential. So as an ad avid pro-American who studied here for many years and lived here for many years, the only thing I'm worried about is that the political climate in the United States right now is too toxic. It is very polarized. And that sort of doesn't leave, I think, enough room for a civilized and constructive debate about different types of policy choices. Um, I've had the opportunity to speak to President Biden on many occasions during the past 48 hours. Uh, and as I always say, we human beings, when we're treated in the public eye, we're never as good uh, as we sometimes look and we're never as bad. I have absolutely no concerns about the capacity of uh, the current president of the United States uh, to lead uh, his country uh, and to lead uh, our fight for Ukraine and to lead NATO. And I think this summit uh, speaks tons and volumes for that. And to add on, for me, of course, it was a great experience uh, last night to spend some time in the White House uh, for the first time. And we had a really, really pleasant uh, evening. Yeah, Mr. President, uh, Ukraine is requesting for the further loosening of res territorial restrictions on the use of, uh, of American and other Western weapons. Uh, are you supporting this? Are you pushing for, uh, for this approval? And what are the odds that uh, this will be successful, you guess, and Ukraine gets this uh, approval? I, 